Dear viewer, I'm Trainer Lux and in this video I'll be taking you step on step on how to install an instant shower. But first, let's look at the wiring diagram. So simple, in this case we need a double pole switch, a shower head and the consumer unit. So for my case, I won't have a consumer unit because I'm using a live component. This one is a training component so it has power and all that. So I'll start by mounting my surface mount. I'm doing the installation in conduit. All I need is a switch, bo a switch box, I need a conduits and I need a saddle clips for my surface mount. But for that, the best part you need to understand is on how to terminate and to join. So in this case, I'll need three conductor, the live, the neutral and the earth conductor. Remember for a double pole switch, is a unique switch, it's not like the other switch. It, has, it allows all the three conductors that the live the neutral and earth to go through the switch remember the normal switch that we use like the two-way one gang and all that only takes the live the neutral and the earth pass it through direct to the equipment so the dp switch has six terminals uh, the three input terminals and the three output terminals which that is the live neutral and earth terminals as you can see here so my contactors or my cables from the consumer unit will go to the input terminals that's the live to the l1 and the neutral and all that on the input side and then from this double port switch to the instant shower will live through the output terminals so that's what i'm going to connect all the six cable six cables are going to be connected in that manner so I can, i've already installed my uh, input terminals that's from the consumer unit and then uh, the remaining output uh, terminals from the double port switch to the shower head it will just go as it is remember i'm not going to install a shower head to water uh, for this case i'm just going to show you that if I've, if I've connected everything well the double port switch will indicate the indicator lamp on the uh, double port switch will come on whenever i switch it on that's if, that's for proper installation so it's now connecting the the output terminals that is the live neutral and the earth now the one that will lead to the shower head I think that's all that I can say about this. So that is also easy for you. You can do it by your own. Remember, uh, Trainer Lux is here to make sure that this thing is also known to you. And uh, when you are dealing with your technicians, at least you are aware of what they need to do and how they need to do it. So I want quality. I want people out there. If you have interest in electrical installation, remember i also have private sessions where i give live sessions so you, you only need to just go to my bio subscribe once you subscribe you'll be notified whenever i have a schedule for a live session and you'll be taken through i'll be answering your questions i'll be uh, giving you more intensive knowledge in this but for this case i will still also give you the basics that you need in this manner and you can turn out to be a good electrician at the end of the day so i've done i'm now fixing the the dp switch to the uh, switch box and then after that i'll go ahead and install my shower head that's the shower head I, the one you see there uh, so whenever water goes through it and it's on it uh, hits the water uh, before it reaches your head or your body as i said that's the shower head with three terminals as, uh, with three contactors as you can see the live the neutral and the earth so in this case uh, when you're doing it remember you have to consider the planning and also the issue to do with the cable sizing uh, a double pole switch has lower rating compared to a cooker control uh, uh, unit that's why we expect you to use a double pole switch for insta instant shower and not a cooker control uh, uh, unit the way other people have been in other hotels you use that when you're showering you get shocks and all that so ensure that you use every you use the right switch and you use the right cable size to avoid or to eliminate the issue of shock and uh, faults whenever I'm using my my shower. So I'm done. I'm now insulating my life and I'll do that for all the rest. Then after that, I think we'll be ready to test our circuit. As you can see, I've already brought my power from the uh, circuit breakers to the terminal panel box that I'm using there. Uh, to finish the circuit so once I've done that you can see that the circuit is complete and uh, everything is done so that's simple uh, how do you find this if it's interesting please don't forget to give me a follow comment below your views and uh, 
see you in my next upload remember once you subscribe and you activate uh, the notification icon for on your youtube you'll get everything instantly as i upload thank you for your time see you next time